Hey guys, welcome to Da 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 Belize and Queen Squad. Put the notification on the ding bell and a like button. And today, let's get to do it to 79 subscribers. And we're going to do fruit coloring eggs with what it called? I'm going to do it. And we yeah. in sorry because of all the lighting and stuff. We kept doing it over, and now it's getting a little bit blurry, and the lighting is really bad, so sorry about that. Okay, let me get, let me introduce <coughs> it. We doing the Cool Whip, um, Dine Age using Cool Whip food coloring, and since I don't have, um, vinegar, I'm using lemon juice. So, after and we already, what you're going to do is take the pan, and you can lay foil down. You spread the Cool Whip out. You could use the whole container. I might not use the whole container. And right now, I'm just and we already the dip colors. The, um, so we're going to take the spoon and just do this. Go ahead, do this. I'm just spread, spread, it. mix it. I don't like this color right now. It's getting I black. I think you did it too hard. Okay, so. It's black, guys. So we're going to take the... We um, already did the whip. This is an um, example. You're going to take the egg. And roll it around. Swirl, yeah. Swirl it around. I'm not too sure about this. I'm not too sure. Well, I did it last year. It came out fine. But this is black. So, after this, you're going to um to wipe it a little bit with the paper towel. Let's get a different color Dip with it in pink. The um, lemon juice. Let it sit for a few minutes. You're messing it up, Ponte. I'm just trying to get so, a different color. I think maybe we use maybe too much um, yeah, black. Yeah, because this is black. Yes, and we want it lighter colors. Yeah, but it's still gonna want... come out. Oh, come on, you're messing it up. So we're gonna um, we're gonna I'm gonna take this and throw this away. Yeah, and we we gonna decide because we don't want dark dark colors. Mm -mm, so give me a dark. second. So, guys, we're going to do it over and show you this process because that was a fail. We did the color is black. That is not an Eastery color <coughs> and stuff, and it won't win. Mom, can we tell them about the competition? Mm -mm. Okay. Yeah. So, we're doing a competition, and we don't want the color to be super black. Go ahead and spread it. Thanks. Use all of it. So, we're going to use all of it this time, because last time we used it, it was a thick kind of fail. So No, it wasn't a fail. The colors, we just used yeah. too much of blue. Yeah. So, it wasn't a well, fail. Well, that was probably, uh, we used too much of the colors that it made black. Well, just be gentle when you... And look, yeah. did I already wiped off. Look how pretty. Ooh. So, it wasn't a fail. It looks well, yeah. like a galaxy... Ape. Yeah. Pretty. And guys, make be careful when you use the colors because you don't want it black unless you want the color black or something. It wasn't black. It was dark purple. So we're going to... Oh, I have a, a light lavender color. Okay. So oh, we're going to use that. We're going to put that in there. we're going to... Go ahead and spray it. it. Okay. This I have color. I have a light purple color. I mean, just like... So first, I'm just patting it down because it's really hard for me to smooth it. And I think I need so to get So I'm just my... patting it so it could be easier for me to smooth it. Yeah. It's just light blue. Okay. You want to make and gallons? And I have, um, let me get my light green. <coughs> you want to try your best to make gallons? Okay, you want to try your best to make galaxy eggs? Huh? Huh? Okay, but I want to try to make galaxy, guys, so we're going to try to make galaxy A and stuff. We're going to try to make galaxy eggs, and right now I'm just spreading the cool whip, as you can see. So after the color, okay, stuff, hurry up we can just it. spread the eggs. So let's get started. You want to okay. do some of it? Yeah, because you're making a mess. Okay. Oh, oh, I'm making this. So we're going to spread it. Just gen part. gentle. Uh, it's okay. No. I was going to save some of the Cool Whip for something else, but since we came out too dark. So, this is for my school competition. So, I we're mean, gonna, I'm going to take... Oh, that's a lime yellow. Lime green. Uh oh. 
Not too much, because this is for my That's cakes and stuff. That's because the top was a little... This different. is light... I don't... We, this is light purple. We're going to use light purple. Okay. Light purple. I'm going to use some of this turquoise. Okay. We're going to put this purple up. Right now, we're just adding the colors. We already did green and purple. Yellow. And now, I'm just going in with this beautiful turquoise. Now, I'm adding some yellow. I'm going... Now, I'm going to go in with the pink. No, that's not pink. This is pink. Okay, so we're going to... What color is this? Already used that color. I don't want to mm. use too much. And uh, this is mm. pink. Okay, and then we use orange. Um, Use a little bit of orange, and that's it. And we're going to swirl it. I'm going to just do one. Oh, and I might... I don't want to use too two, much dark colors. Three. Just a little. Yeah, just a little bit of Because it made it too dark. So I'm going to take the spoon and just gently... You take a toothpick, I mean toothpick, swirl it around like... You say we're going to use spoon. Um, Tie-dye. Um, you're going to take like two cute... I you're going to take a, like a toothpick to just mix the colors in and see, just see what it makes. So, yeah. Look how pretty. I think it's coming. I think using a toothpick is better, guys, to get to swirl the colors around instead of using a spoon. Here, take your egg and you could try rolling it yourself. Um, I think that's good enough. Oh, look at that. Around. Look at that. Okay, that's enough. Let's swirl it. Go I'm going to get mine in this because this is okay, prettier. So. Look at that. So you just want to take a... I'm going to go get some paper towel. Okay, you just want to take one egg and just swirl it around in the beautiful and swirl it around in the colors with your finger or you can use something it could be kind of messy but it's fun yeah. you could take that one and i'm going to um, put these in the freezer no oh. you're going to wipe the excess off the the extra cool whip Ooh. dip it That's in dip it in the um let it sit in the um Ooh. the lemon juice i'll be right back i'm gonna get some more lemon juice Ooh. Keep it there. Okay. This is not good. Hold on, guys. So, just want to roll it around to get those beautiful effects. Mama, I think we're going to definitely win with these effects, right? Mm -hmm. And you're just gonna let this let the eggs sit. I have lemon juice. You're supposed to use vinegar, but you could use lemon juice too. Um, I have a little bit of darker. I want light color, so I'm gonna dip it in this stuff. Then I'm gonna roll it in this stuff a little. Yeah, some space. And I'm, I think I'm done with my egg, so I'm just gonna take my dark dark egg. And wipe off the excess. Oh my gosh. Hmm. That is really pretty. I only did seven eggs. Um, I don't want to use up all my eggs because I don't really eat boiled eggs. Guys, you could never say this. Now dip it in there. Could don't never. drop it so hard. Sorry. Okay. You so. could never. I mean, you could never say that is too pretty. Well, I mean, you could never just say that is not pretty the way it is. I'm gonna dip. A, I'm gonna dip my egg in all the. This one came out pink. We're gonna wipe it better. Oh, that is pretty. Pink is my favorite color, but I'm not like too elaborate about pink. You use your paper towel over there if you want. It's getting kind of messy. Okay. And we have another egg. I want mine kind of a pink too, so I'm gonna dip this more. Can I do it? Hmm. Can I do it? Yes. Okay. I want mine kind of a pink. So. Oh, it's kind of a red. You're supposed to roll it around in the Cool Whip in food coloring. Sit it in. The vinegar or uh, lemon juice, and then wipe it off. Or you could try if you have too much, wipe it off gently, and put it, let it sit for a few seconds.
just going to use this kitchen towel. I don't want to use up all my paper towels. So let's do this. So pretty. Look at this. Ooh. You can't really see, I hope. That is like a light thing. Oh, this is coming out in a purple light. I'm going to get my towel in this. Okay, I think I'm pretty done with my egg. It can get a little messy, but once you like... Oh my gosh. Mom, look at this. This is pretty. Mm -hmm. Mine's just like a purple and a pink. Because I tried to make it pink because hers was like so pretty. And that is pretty. Did you let it soak in the lemon juice? Lemon juice, no. But it don't really... But it came out real good to say yeah. it didn't soak yeah, in and the it's lemon real, juice. No, no, put it in there. You want to let it soak? Yeah. If you don't use vinegar... <laughs> You're just going to come out with real light, light colors, pastel colors, but the vinegar helps deepen the colors. And we have one more egg. It's kind of cracked, but I'll let BB do it. Oh, my gosh. Don't worry about it because we're we just doing it for fun. Go ahead. Just be gentle with it. Like, and if your egg is, like, mostly all the way cracked, be right back, just, guys. just slide it around really carefully instead of rolling it because the top could eventually come off and my egg is cracking a lot. This is going to be a green egg. And that is not a good color. Hmm. So I'm going to add a little bit of this pink. And I went upstairs to get an Easter basket to put the eggs in. And I'm going to take a picture of it and post it to my school. They're doing a, a coloring egg contest. So I'm going to put it in the um, basket, make it look nice. Watch it. I'm just going to use this and pat it a little bit. Yes. Okay. Where's the towel? Oh, she had Sorry, it. egg. No, let me do it. It's okay. really cracked. Be careful. Oh, you're done. Lord. You're done with this egg. I'm about to wipe it. You're done with this egg. Yes. Okay, cause I just touched it. I think that's enough. And a good food. thing with food coloring is safe to eat. So some people use the eggs and eat. Uh, it. use no use. I think um, that's enough sitting with this egg. Wait, no, no, I didn't wipe it. Oh. Hold on. get kind of messy I'm using an old kitchen towel so mm. it's okay. oh the egg is really pretty that's why I love it so much look at that queen the ombre so these are the eggs we can't really show you guys <coughs> uh, let me lift the phone up oh I'm sorry it's showing the let thing. me show you got it Stop moving the camera. Yeah, I'm trying to get it good. Okay. That's how the eggs look. <laughs> um, so, next, we we finished. Um, yeah, we kind of done with the eggs. So, we're going to move this on, on to the side. I'm going to mm. put it right here. Yeah, and then, the I'm going to... I have my get basket the right here. Get to the side. And the bunny. And I'm going to put the, the eggs... Side. I wish we could see better. Yeah, it's so pretty. pretty. So now we're just going to take our competition father and get these little stickers and decorate them. With the I stickers. don't really want stickers on all of them, okay? Okay. Just we'll some. do some stickers on some of them. So that way we could kind of win. And that's from another Easter egg coloring kit, but I like to use this method. 
This is my second year. I think year. I'm just going to use the flower thing with this. Okay. I was going to use the butterfly, but... This was the you first like egg. You like that? Uh-huh. It's all right, but I like This was the first egg. Came out real nice and dark. I'm going to do this one. This one is kind of cracked bad. I had one egg that cracked real bad, but that's okay. I'm not going to do the crack one with the sticker. I'm just going to do one more with the sticker. This one. And put the other egg. Okay. Some of them I'm doing stickers. Ooh, look at that. 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 that. Getting some mess up. Sticker is not really sticking, which doesn't matter. So I'm just take that sticker off. Uh oh, I got go die ahead. on my computer. Let's wipe this. Oh, it's working. And then make sure you wear old, something old, weak. And I'm going to reel to you the whole egg thing. So first we got this little pink ombre green egg mixed together. Really pretty beautiful flower sticker. It's very in the season. Next we got this pretty ombre egg with green and the blue with mostly pink in the middle. Next we got this all light green, Oops, orangey, shucks. yellow, Sorry. green egg. Next, we got this ombre egg that has a million colors. Pink, green, and blue. And a little bit of that yellow tease inside. Really pretty. Next, we got the almost good crack ombre pretty egg. Most unique one that you can get most comments. It's kind of unique. So, and this is really pretty. So, I'm not going to explain to you that. So I'm just taking and cleaning up. This is a real fun alternative. Um, if you don't want to buy um, the food color, I mean the East Egg coloring kits. Um, next year we're gonna do color our eggs with Kool Aid. I I found that you could look that up in on the um website. Okay, can you bring it back smaller? Because I'm trying to do like a close-up thing video. Oh, that's a good idea. I'm gonna have to get more coloring for when I do my apples and stuff. La 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 Hopefully nobody won't call while we doing this video. got grass okay make it smaller okay okay so and this is the done. basket that i'm going to use and take pictures of for my own contest and wish wish me good luck don't and you, i put a little bunny in it don't you think we should take the up. eggs and put all the eggs on top of the bunny yes we could do that let's put that make sure the cracks not showing on it Oh, you want to do it on top? Yeah, I guess I'll do a few on top so it could be like... Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, heard, I heard a cracking noise. So That's from, let me the, clean that's it. from this. Ah, a little yolk coming out. This one kind of leaking, but that's okay. It's, yeah, we're just going to hide the crack so people will be like, look at that crack where she is not getting anything. Stop being negative, girl. I'm not. We're going to win. So, put a little bit of this on top. That's a good, that's good. Yeah. So, we, um, um, this is, this is the, um, I'm going to take a picture of the eggs in the basket. Because presentation is everything. And next year, we, um, I found, um, a, another cool way to dye eggs is using Kool-Aid. So, I don't have all the directions for that, but you can look it up on the website you can look this up on the website using Cool Whip, um, food coloring, and vinegar. 
And I'm going to put the ingredients um, and what we use in the description box below. You can find stuff around your house to use, too. Some people use shaving cream, but I wouldn't recommend that because that's, you know, that... Uh, I learned through research that some stuff could seep through the shell of the egg, and that's not edible. At least with Cool Whip and food coloring, you know it's edible and it's safe. And, Mama, you can, I think what they mean, like, it was Cool Whip and then mix the, um, what do they call it again? Um, I, this is another cute bunny. Oh, we got we can use that, too. I got an idea. Mm hmm Take two eggs. Hold this for a moment. Yeah, so don't guys, drop we're just gonna do gentle. this and put the wait, 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 wait. Oh yeah, take all the eggs out. No, 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 no. You're getting the bunny dirty. Okay. That's okay. Your hands. So we're not gonna use that. Okay. I'm gonna have to clean it later. So that's fine. Use Try not to touch it dirty, so much. Yeah, so um, guys, sorry about that. I'm just gonna show you another quick. Um, this is a basket that Belicia had. For a few years now from my, my dad and my um stepmother, Dana. And it has her name, Belicia. I use it on my table every Easter and put candy in it. I normally do a, a visual, in visual um, like two baskets for Belicia. This time, with everything's going on, I didn't stress about it. I just decided to just use this basket on the table and fill it up with some candy. Not too much. Normally, every year, I make her own baskets. I fill it up with not just candy, but with stuff that she likes, like movies, um, DVDs, anything with Barbie on it, coloring books, reading books. But this time, I just really let her pick out what she wanted at the store. And she has another... They can't really see me. And she has another... Um, Sorry, that's better. She has another um, Easter, I mean, nail um, Easter gift coming tomorrow for nails. And show them your bunny. Put that down and show them your bunny. Wipe your hands. She's making a mess, guys. So, um, look, bunny. Oh, my she's going to show you her chocolate bunny she picked out. Be careful with it. Watch your hands. Look at that. And she had to pick the most expensive. Um, it was ten dollars because yes. my mom used to get me big bunnies, but not bunnies. No, not no, 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 no. I don't know why she keeps saying that. I never bought her a bunny this big. I know the bunny she... that I buy her is is called Peter the Rabbit. That's and my Peter. favorite one, and it's not too big and not too small. This is her first big giant bunny. They got some bigger than this, I, I know. But this was the biggest one they had at the Walmart by me. Yeah, because I didn't see that one. I know that one is big a little and small a little. But the thing is, like, I didn't see any big ones. So I just got this one. No, that ain't why you picked it out. Because yes. I, showed, I showed her the bunny that I normally get. But she wanted this one. This was the biggest one they had. And, um... And I try not to give her all too much candy, but I think every child once in a while deserves a big giant bunny. I remember I had one from my, my Aunt Claire gr growing up. May she rest in heaven. But uh, we had a big chocolate bunny, and I think it was probably bigger than this. I'm not sure, but it is pretty. And she done good and been doing good in school. And uh, despite what's going on, I work. Um, I push and motivate her, and I'm really hard on her because we strive for greatness in this household. And I just want to say, stay safe, guys. Um, stay prayed up. Keep God first, and and just remember that everything's gonna be all right, and this too shall pass. And um, we probably do a mukbang for Easter. I, I was supposed to grill hamburgers and hot dogs on a grill. It's just going to be me and my daughter. Um, yeah, we probably show you, um, do a little short video. Sit down so they can show you, see your face. It's your channel. So, um, yesterday we did a Kool-Aid pie, but we're going to do another one where we're going to actually show you guys how to make it. It's real fun. To, um, to do a nice, quick, fun dessert to do with your kids while they home now. If you have the time, because I know a lot of schoolwork takes up a lot of our time. 
But we're going to do one next week. We did great. Oh, I'm going to show it to you guys since we're filming. Would you like a piece? Yeah. Go, go wash <coughs> your hands. This is how a great Kool-Aid pie. And you have to excuse how I look. This is, you know, this is how I look when I'm in my house, but... I can't be glamorous all the time. <laughs> so, I've been doing school work, trying to knock my work out so I can enjoy Easter. So, this is the Kool-Aid pie, and it smells some good. And we're going to do another video, hopefully next week, whenever I get to go to the store and um, try not to go too much. I'm going to wash my hands. I'll be right back in a second. Mama. What? Good enough to eat it. Yeah. Okay. Let me wash my hands. This is the lavender pie. I'm sure you already saw it though. Washing my hands, guys. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Let me wash my hands. Now it's gonna be hard getting that food coloring all. Mommy, can I please try to cut the thing? No, I'm gonna cut it. I don't like mess up slices. Okay. I'm going to use another towel. Like but it don't matter. It's fair square. Fair square. Fair square. Come in, guys. 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 Come Look how beautiful. This is the slice. Look how nice and thick it is. And so that's your fork. Go ahead and taste it. <coughs> this is gonna be the first bite. Start from the other side. Mm. The front. Okay. It's really good. Mm hmm Smells good too. You can smell the Kool-Aid. <laughs> I bet my um, dad Don't you would think like next this. Next time we could try cherry. Yes, we're gonna try. I only I bought orange Kool Aid um, to try. We're gonna share the ingredients and stuff with with you guys. Um, hopefully next week, um, we, or sometime we're gonna do another Kool Aid pie. We're gonna actually show you guys how we made it. But it only takes like four ingredients: graham cracker pie shell, a Kool Aid packet. Cool Whip, and a small can of sweetened condensed milk. It's a real fun, easy recipe to do with your kids. And I wish I would have thought of this when she had her tea party. You could do the mini um, pies, too. Get the mini graham cracker crust, and you could do them, too. And I might put this on my menu for my business. You could follow me at um, Ernell's Gourmet Treats on Facebook. But um, I don't ship all the time. It depends because I don't want your cakes and stuff to get messed up. It has to be um, um, certain things that I only ship. King cakes, um, a few candy apples, it depends. And um, praline candy, but not in the hot, hot um, summertime. Because um, quality means a lot to me. And... Um, but this is our first time, and it, it's real delicious. I'll try a piece later. I'm going to try one now. Is it real good? You like it? Yeah. You didn't try one the other day, so. Yeah, I guess I might get me a small piece. Yeah. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. I don't want to dirty up too many pies. I mean, plates. I said pies. No, we don't even got that many pies. <laughs> okay. I'm going to get me a small piece because it's almost time for dinner. Small piece? This is... No. We should have a big piece. If you, oh, if you could see it. We're not going to stay long. My battery is 15%. Yeah, yeah 15 
I'm going to try, try, taste it right quick. Taste it with the crust. I did. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Not too sweet. It's delicious. Yeah. Hmm. Some people use two packets, but uh, one is good enough. You don't want it too, too sweet. I think sweet. if you use two packets, it kind of could be like too sweet for you. Mm hmm Even if you use something that is not too sweet. Real good. Delicious. Real good. Yeah. And um you can find some of these ingredients you if you have these in these already in your house. Um, the Dollar Tree by me, if you don't know, we from New Orleans and we stay in New Orleans East. The Dollar Tree by me, um, they have, they have Cool Whip at times. The, um, 18, this size. Um, and they be having, um, the Graham Cracker Crust sometimes. But, oh, we bought our ingredients from Walmart yesterday. Excuse me, can I tell you one, one thing, one thing? If you're making a Kool Aid pie, only use graham cracker crush. Right. Don't use anything. Smart, yeah. Don't use any other crust. But <laughs> you can use any size you desire of the crust, though. That's Kool Aid. We use grape flavor. Grape. So it came out a pretty lavender color. Perfect for Easter. Very good. So we and, gonna, was, wait, and ours was very smooth, so when you do it, make sure they don't have any bumps. I don't know why she say that, but it's, it's, you don't have to worry about it. I think what she's trying to say don't, is um, make sure it don't be too chunky. But you don't have to worry about that because you're not using cream cheese. You're going to use Cool Whip and condensed milk. So it's going like, to be real smooth. It's, it's kind of like the same thing as key lime pie. And and you can use key lime Kool Aid. Some people have used cream cheese. I haven't tried that yet, but I like it just the way it is. But I will try it if I do a strawberry one. I probably add cream cheese to it next time. But um, you don't have to worry about it being chunky. I think that's what she's trying to say. Cause sometimes when you're doing like cheesecakes, when you don't bake it. It could get kind of chunky if you don't let the cream cheese sit out room temperature. Like it don't be like smooth too well and has a little bumpy things around it. No, chunky. So, we love you guys. Stay safe and we'll do another video for Easter. We love you guys. Have a safe, blessed day. Peace out. And Easter. Bye-bye.